It was a little bit of a mystery. I started going up the spiral staircase and I realized as I was getting higher and higher that something awesome was about to happen. Uh, because when I popped open the door at the top of the spiral staircase, this is what I found. I started walking up the spiral staircase and I noticed all these incredible orange beams and I thought, 1924, it, it looks like I'm on the inside of the Golden Gate Bridge right now. The building was built in 1924 by the Jewish community in San Francisco and it was incredible because there were only around 300 families. The dome is actually, the synagogue is actually based on the Hagia Sophia, um, which is in Istanbul, Turkey, um, which was built in the 500s. Uh, this was built in 1924 and it has that inspiration of the Moorish sense of the dome. And when you're driving down the street, you see the terracotta tiles, you see the outside of the dome, and when you're sitting inside, you look up and you see the incredible lights, um, and you see the stained glass windows. But you have no sense that there's this space in between the outer and the inner dome. down on the ground in the synagogue, I feel like everybody always knows where I am and has access to me. And when I'm up here, I just say, I'm taking off for an hour. And just the sense in such a world where we feel very confined and that there's so many people in so little space, to have a space like this that's totally undeveloped and where my imagination can run free. I like to think a lot about who, bu who built this and what was, the, what was their intent for having this kind of a space? Was it just because of the architecture or did they in, envision someday, many generations later, something else could and should happen in this space. thinking a lot about what space means and how important it is at a time when we're so compressed and there's so much narrowness in people's minds and not a lot of space that we can call our own. And if you've ever come here during the day, you've seen the red dome, right? You've seen the terracotta tiles on the outside of the dome. And you look out and then when you're sitting down, look up for a moment and you see the incredible dome right on top of your heads. But there's a secret between this dome and the outside dome. Whoever architected this in the 1920s created 200 feet of space between the inside dome and the outside dome, which is really incredible because you can't tell from where you're sitting or when you're standing outside. But it's amazing because if you imagine that, it gives you a way of almost symbolically during Shabbat expanding for yourself into some kind of airspace. And for us, it's up there, this 200 feet of airspace that's just space. And so there's something about this sanctuary for me and definitely on Shabbat as we open ourselves up to think about where you might be reflecting fire or water in your life and where you need to flow through. We all need a little bit of that space. And the Micha Mocha is about going through a narrow space and finding something inside yourself that's going to be expansive. So imagine, if you can, what it would be like to be up there in between the two domes in some enlightened way. I feel a real sense of the divine presence of something transcendent when I'm in this space. Uh, in some ways, I wish the whole world uh, had the opportunity to be in a space that is this beautiful, not just physically, but spiritually. Um, people really need Shabbat, they need Sabbath, but they just need time and space to reflect today because our world has become so crazy. Uh, and on the other hand, I hope um, that very few people come up here. <laughs>